Hey, right, pull some out. Give me a little bit. What's going on? Uh, yeah, they wanted me to do a bypass, and uh, I came from Miami. I'm not doing bypasses. Yeah, he, he came here. He came here to like mess stuff up. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, the third attempt. I hooked up, and when I hooked up, I destroyed the uh, tire rod. The, the front tire is hooked, and the, the, the tire rod just uh, tackled pretty much. We need a pink helmet. We have, so we're seven hours and 12 minutes in. Well, almost a third of the way through this adventure. It's kind of hard to believe that we're only a third of the way through. at another obstacle called hairpin. Like then you gotta square up to here and just commit. It's a nice little ledge right here. There's a couple different lines that you can take to go up it. I've seen guys go to the far right around this rock and drive up. Most guys come in here and square up to the ledge or where you're sitting, you can pick a line and a lot of times it'll just crawl straight up the, the left side. And then when we go around the corner, this hairpin turn, you'll see there's another ledge and a sandstone climb with a huge crack on the left side that'll kind of swallow the jeep it's up against a big rock wall uh, ever wheeled in this area i've never wheeled in this area before so far i like the park I'm, I'm glad we got to something like this looks fairly challenging the spot down there should be really fun so i'm excited got the razor back together and seeing what it can do hopefully awesome. he can keep up he's gonna go up there no problem he's gonna get stuck over in this this crack Hard. 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 <laughs> that's gonna be a doozy right there, right on that. I wanna I mean, do that one just because I want it was gonna feel sketchy. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. He says I like that. <laughs> I like it when I feel like my shit's gonna just totally wreck itself. <laughs> so clean and uh, that's sketchy because you, you you know you go all of a sudden you're not good I don't know if you guys have seen the Florida crew do a little wheeling but I got my construction vest and I got my tools for the next time they break down I even got some reflective wear so they don't run over me while I'm working on it Florida crew is fun carnage motorsports rock and roll
next one holly this thing is getting more and more gnarly because like everybody keeps digging it out a little more and we try to make up for it by stacking rocks and whatnot but it's not really looking too good but she has a really wide stance so that might either be good or bad for her we're all about to find out Your, your sidewall is touching. You just like if you get an inch over, you got it. See that the Tom Woods drive shafts are holding up great. Good. A for effort, bro. A for effort. Bob, Bob, Bob. Right, hey, well. what up? What just happened? Um, I what happened was that I earned the pink helmet. I I tried every line and every like gear here and there and couldn't make it. Got it. Get the man his helmet. Wow. Uh, guys, we're still here on hairpin. Robert is at it right now. We just got Will up with I don't know how much. I mean, we tried every possible angle, and at the end, he had to winch. So Robert is next and I think we have two more and that's pretty much it for this obstacle. It's getting dark now as you can see. I'm 
that back up and do it again. Hey, did you teach him that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Music right. before lockers. Hey, we have 13 hours and 44 minutes. Yeah, and, not bad. And I'm about to take a nap right now. Can we get a winch from behind him Same up over and try and pull it back in so he can whisk it up maybe? Should I get my pink helmet first? Two tie yeah. rods. Hey, hold on. Look at there. Same But problem. he's a great sport. Look at that. It is what it is. Yeah, uh, so uh, second time, exact same thing happens. We're out of spare Jeeps. So um, Spare Jeeps. Uh, not I'm, I'm hoping we can, like that's a common thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we just pull it back a little bit so I can get out of here. But, maybe hook the winch up to it and pull backwards. On my track bar and I'm, I'm done. That's there. it. Uh, mess up two track bars actually. So replace it once. Around. Can't do it a second time. So uh, no, it was fun, but it happens. Hey, are these All running? Right, ready Helen to go? Helen Beck beat you. Helen Beck beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Coming up this last obstacle, I lost my S-Pod, which runs my lockers, lights, compressor, everything that we need to uh, use to keep moving forward. So we're looking at it right now. I've checked all the fuses, all the power, everything's good. So hopefully it's not a faulty S-Pod. I believe. So nothing is really broken yet, but my drive shaft is making some really violent, like binding, grinding noises. Your damn whole body bushing is completely blown out. Nothing is broken yet. No helmet yet. <laughs> So it looks like we're having some electrical issues we're going to try to work out. And then my Jeep, the lift cylinder just stopped working. So I, I hammered pretty hard. I, I went pretty hard the last obstacle. Uh, so I don't know if that did it or... It sucks we haven't, we were not, you know, being able to complete the whole thing. We might be able to catch the end, but um, other than that, it's been, it's been challenging. It's definitely yeah. hell and back for sure. Yep, I'd say so. Can't wait for the next one. See that, huh? 24 like hours, hell and like, back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. You say a bat just flew at him? Yeah. Oh, come on, keep going. <laughs> just remember, guys, where we're stuck. headed, the shadows are going to be tricky. Widowmaker is, you know, we usually, none of us go in it after 9 p.m. I feel like the drivers have it easier than we do. 
We're the, we're, drivers. We're the real heroes because it's harder for us in the passenger seat. So on behalf of all the passengers, you're, nuts. you're welcome. Right. All of you are welcome. Right. <laughs> Amen to that. But we're ready. We're ready to wheel and do the hardest trails here at trail 3 o'clock in the morning. We trail ride all day. Yeah. Yeah. So we here we go. Oh, you came down, so. All right, Jeremy, what time is it now? 1.28 in the morning. We're going to make a quick... We're gonna continue on Little Widowmaker, make a loop back around, and then we're gonna go into Big Widowmaker, and that's pretty badass. That's a pretty cool obstacle. I'm looking forward to it. Widowmaker, one of the, I would say, most famous obstacles here at Hollywood. It's a pretty gnarly little waterfall with a bunch of different cool lines to take. Let's see. <laughs> Pink helmet to wear at some point. Where's that pink helmet at? I don't know. It's late. At, at you know point, where the pink this, helmet is? At this point, we don't go look. Yeah. All right. What time is it? Um, check in. Six hours and fifty minutes left. <laughs> Thank you. 
on now. I'm new to the group. I just caught up with everybody, ran into them in the woods. The guys call me Disco Dan. Okay. But I heard you creeping, so <laughs> I woke up quick. Jeremy from the bleeping Jeep is going to weld a nut on here and back this boat right out. still pushing through I've had a bunch of energy drinks and now I'm just some water again because it's just a little too much you get a little jittery and you're tired anyway you're still like 24 hours is hell man refuel well so far I can tell you I didn't think I was gonna get sleepy but I did get sleepy on this last uh, part of this trail but getting out of the vehicle now and drinking me one little energy drink I'm feeling a lot better and I was doing some dance moves over there so Energy drinks make the dream work or something like that on the hell and back? Or no. That's what the line hit of. You just yeah. straight ahead. Put your front tires on it, line up and get it. It is 7.54 right now. We have exactly, let's see, one hour and 31 minutes left. We are at the Tipsy Overlook at Hollywood Park. Just checked out the sunrise. 
really, really beautiful across the mountains here. We're beat to death, every single one of us. Uh, most of us didn't sleep. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, my brain is completely toast. I can hardly stand straight. Let's head back down, meet up with everybody, gather our thoughts, hit one more trail on our way out. And then we should be hitting the parking lot pretty much exactly at 9.30 and we're done. I mean, I, I expected to come out here and, and, and wheel with a bunch of buddies, and that's that's pretty much what it was. Um, the adding it 24 hours straight was, was something I had never uh, dealt with before. Um, it definitely made you have to step your game up because being sleep deprived and hitting some of these obstacles was a little more sketchy. It added to the sketchiness, but uh, overall, it, it's fun. It's one of those things that, you know, I, I, I wanted to be able to tell the story that I did this because how many people can say they wheeled 24 hours straight? I really didn't expect the uh, the endurance on my body versus the rig. Um, I was expecting the rig to break first, but I actually broke first. Um, I think I went to a little bit of a stroke just from uh, the, the distance. At hour 12, I thought I was tired, but the last four hours really is hell. Um, 24 hours to hell and back is hard. It's mentally hard. It's physically hard. Three, four o'clock in that time frame. It was like, get your phone out, reference a list. I can't remember where are we going. What are we doing after this? What trail do we go to next? I mean, it, this was one of the craziest things I've ever been a part of. It's a test to me and a test to my vehicle to make sure that like right now we did 24 hours and it's still here and it's basically still driving and I didn't break anything. So I'm very tired, but I feel like wheeling again right now, honestly, to be honest with you because uh, I'm already up and it's already daylight. I want to definitely thank Hollywood Park. Man, Keith, you guys are amazing. Um, let me just say that your level of hospitality and generosity are far above and beyond anything that anybody could ever ask for. 
BF Goodrich Tires. You guys are awesome for making this happen. Tom Woods Drive Shaft. Tom Woods Drive Shaft. Sean, you're awesome. Power tank. Power tank. Boston Knuckle. These killer Rockwood watches that we got that are, mine, my poor Rockwood is scratched all to pieces. We're back where it all began. You at the parking lot of Hollowood, of Hollowood Adventure Park at the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. We are beat, our vehicles are beat. We're this dirty. was a, we feel terrible. Yeah. Everybody here wants to go to bed. And there's also shower. an awesome energy here where everybody's hanging out right behind us. And, Which is crazy. Know. The 24 hour challenge ended about two hours ago and still everybody is catching up and chit chatting about how awesome this adventure it's was. Really this is what it really was. It was a true adventure. We're tired. We want to go take a shower. We want to lay down. We want to relax. Start planning the next one. Start planning the next you're one. You're up guys. to it. So let us know. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely reach out to Flexbox and Rollovers. Yeah, Flexbox and Rollovers. something roll that you think you and your rig are up to. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's Flex Rocks and Rollovers on all of these channels. Helen Beck, 2019, here at Hollywood uh, Adventure Park at the Red River Gorge, Kentucky. Thank you very much, guys. See you next We're time. We're out. Hi, <laughs> right, guys. See ya. Yeah, see ya.